This is the big gear session. The goal and purpose of this workout is to increase your strength. And not just strength at speed, but this is strength at endurance. We want to build your muscular endurance. So training your muscles and your legs to be recruited during the endurance phase. So the goals of this is to, to see that strength increase. The results that you'll have is when you're out in a race, you'll have that endurance in your muscles at that pace. So it's easy for someone to do a workout like this and get excited saying, oh, it feels a little too easy. So I'm gonna keep going uh, harder and harder and add more power and more wattage to it and get your heart rate up. It defeats the purpose of this workout. So a specific workout is to build strength at the endurance effort. So we wanna make sure that we attack this workout. So you gotta make sure that you get a good warm up in. You wanna get 10 minutes at easy endurance, 10 minutes at medium endurance. So again, that's 10 minutes at zone two, 10 minutes at zone three. Make sure you get your legs loose and ready for this workout. Uh, if you're just getting started and this is your first time doing a big gear session, I would suggest doing six by two minutes at a 50 RPM, a 50 turnover. Each week, what's great about this workout, every week you can attack this workout to increase your strength. And what we're gonna do is start at six by two minutes. Every week, add about 30 seconds to each interval. And then as you go, you can get up to six by eight minutes. So increasing that time and duration. It's very important that in this workout and in this session, when you're, when you're attacking it, that you have a slow cadence, making sure it's at around 50, making sure that you're efficient and focusing on no dead spots in your stroke. And we wanna make sure that you maintain and stay in the power zone of medium endurance or zone three. It's very important for this workout to pick a, a road that is gonna be sustained, and not a lot of change in the steepness or pitchness of it. The incline should be anywhere from 4% to 7% around that area. If it's too steep, it's gonna be a little bit harder to get that rotation at a 50 RPM. You can even do it in a little bit less of a grade. You definitely don't wanna have any downhills in it because then it'll get a little bit too easy, your cadence will pick up and you'll have to shift gear. So ideally you wanna pick one gear, you wanna get in your aero bars and your position for the time trial or a race. Ideally your front chain ring is in your big chain ring and your rear could be in whatever it is that allows you to do a 50 RPM turnover while maintaining the power that you need to focus on uh, in zone three or your medium endurance zone. You can find those zones if you haven't done it yet, make sure you reference back to our threshold test a lot of times you may find if you've done races or you may have heard or seen races where people the last hour of an iron distance or the last half hour of a race, the last few miles, their leg strength is gone and their efficiency is missing. You find that you'll have more dead spots in your stroke, find that your power will drop or uh, your cadence will slow down. A lot of that is just purely because you don't have the strength to push through or the strength to keep that power going. So we wanna focus on this workout. The goal is to increase that strength. This is a workout for me that I would do almost every week. And it really depends on if I have a race that's coming up about two weeks before a race, I'll back off of doing this workout. And it should be a workout that increases the strength but doesn't make you extremely sore. This is something that you're gonna build on. This is a building block every week by increasing the time. If you do it too hard and you go too much into the threshold zone during this workout as a slow cadence, you could hurt some areas in your leg. We don't want you to get injured. We wanna make sure that you stay healthy, but increase your strength. This is a workout that I've been doing for years. Something I've done for the last 13 years in my training. All the top cyclists that I know, Euro cyclists, the top cyclists in our sport of triathlon, if you ask them, we'll all do something similar to this workout. I encourage you to stay on this workout every week a staple in what you're doing. Adding time will increase your strength. So stick to this workout, you'll see massive change and massive gains in your strength. You'll also see gains in your efficiency. I'm excited to see you guys succeed and get stronger and stronger every time you go out and ride. Go for it.